No. So you can try long dividing it in. Yeah, x squared. Two x squared. And you get a minus two x squared. Really frustrating. And it goes in plus a minus two times x. Multiply a minus two by x, and you're going to get a minus two x squared. A minus two gets multiplied by two, so that will give you two a minus four x. Then you take them away from each other. Oh god. So I have minus one x minus two a x plus 4x. That's going to be minus 2ax plus 3x. So I factorize back out the x again. It's going to be minus 2a plus 3x. Bring down the minus 2. You'd be happy to know it's much easier, right? But nonetheless, we'll go down this rabbit hole together. Now, what happens now is I have to find out how many times x goes into this thing here. Well, looking for me, it just goes in minus 2a plus 3. So multiply it out, and you get minus 2a plus 3 times x. Slide up with 2, and you get minus 4a plus 6. Subtract everything. That comes a minus all that, comes a plus 4a and a minus 6. And we know the remainder has to be 0. So you get minus 2, minus 2. Plus 4a take away 6 equals 0. 4a minus 8 equals 0. 4a equals 8. a equals 2. I'll pause it there. We don't have to divide it in again because we already, we already know. So this is the blue part. Blue part equals uh, blue part equals yellow part multiplied by green part. Everybody okay with that? I can sub in a equals two, can't I? So I'm just going to sub in a equals two. What should happen to the green part? So I'm going to sub in a equals two into the green part, and we get x squared plus zero x, isn't it? Because a equals two. And then it's going to be minus 2 times 2, which is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. It now factorizes to this. And what's the second part? The difference of 2 squares. All right. I would class that as a difficult method, would you guys? I found the uh, dividing by letters, this part here and this part here, I really think that will mesh us up, won't it? We're being honest, yeah? So that's how you know when division might not have been the best route. So let's go back to the start, and here's what we're going to do instead. We're still going to do long division eventually, but we won't have to do long division like that. Okay, so that's how you know you might, you might want to consider a different option. And here's the different option I'm going to show you now. If x equals 2, if x plus 2 is a factor, 
This means x equals minus 2 is a root. So what does that mean? Replace all x cubes with, so replace all x's with minus 2, and the answer has to be 0. Okay. Minus 8, minus 2a, plus 2, minus 2 equals 0. Oh, look, that's brilliant. We're about to get a squared. I knew I made a mistake. 4a. I knew the answer was 2. So 4a minus 8 equals 0. a equals 2. Wasn't that considerably easier? So what can I do with the a here? Change it to a. Change it to a 2, don't I? So what can I do now? I can long divide x plus 2 into x cubed plus 2 x squared minus 1x minus 2. And that's a much easier long division than what I did earlier. So that's how you know you chose the wrong idea. It will work. But why would you do that to yourself? You get the point of the lesson? Okay. Now, it goes in x squared times, and this is very standard. Take away, turns to zero. And then you're left with bringing the two of them down, and it turns to minus one. And the, everything cancels, and you're happy. Very. And you've successfully factorized into this one. And this, which we already knew from earlier on. But the answer is x plus 2 and the x squared minus 1. And we already know it's x plus 2, x plus 1, x plus 1. Alright, any questions? No. So, I already did 14. Okay. So. A times blank squared, blank plus B. Right. Because it's a root, lads, it should, uh, you should have x equals minus 2 as a root and x equals 3 as a root. So all these numbers should come in here. Get minus 2. Two minus two. End up with minus sixteen plus four a minus thirty four plus b equals zero. Did I get four a plus b equals fifty? Or did I make a mistake? Plus thirty four, my bad. So four a plus b equals minus eighteen. So you got killing? Yes. Got Next one. Trees. You should get 54 plus 9a. 51 plus b equals 0. 9a plus b equals minus 3. And we get 9a plus b equals minus 3. Good. All right. So you got the blue equation, the black equation. So do the black equation take away the blue equation? If 5a equals 15, a equals 5. Because a equals 5. B is a very big number. A is 3, sorry. A equals 3. 4 times 3 is 12, plus b is minus 18. Anybody got b value of minus 30? So, go back up to the very start, replace the numbers in. Now you have a choice of what you want to do. Can everybody pause here because I'm going to show you a quick trick. You can divide, you can divide this, you have choices, okay? You can divide it by this. You have choices. 
is a minus 30, was it? Yeah. You have choices, lads. Here's the most important part. I need to say, cop, uh, be, be on to this, okay? You can divide by x plus 2 if you want. You could divide by x minus 3 if you want. Or you could divide by both and multiply it by each other. So multiply the two of them by each other. Okay. And what I'm basically saying there is imagine two and three are, are factors of, of 12. You could divide by two, your answer would be six. You could divide by three, your answer would be four. Or you could divide by two, the two factors multiplied by each other, which would be six and 12. That's what I'm doing here. I'm basically multiplying both factors by each other. So when you multiply the two of them by each other, you'll end up with uh, x squared minus 1x minus 6. And you'll find it's a lot quicker. So look at this. goes in 2x times. And then... Change the signs. And we get 5x squared minus 5x minus 30. And look, that was really quick. And then the last answer is minus. Here, plus 5. So you have your third factor now, don't you? Third factor is 2x plus 5. All right, uh, before I do that, Colonel, sorry, just one sec, buddy. Reminder zero. Your homework for tonight is questions 8, 9, 15, 16. 18 and 21. All right.